Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates and it's day 4 of our Advent Day calendar. Let's see what the New Testament reading is today. Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 reads Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem or Judea in the days of King Herod, well as we heard in yesterday's Old Testament reading, Mike was told that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. And here we see that Jesus was indeed born in that area. Since it would be impossible for anyone to determine the area in which they are born, I think we can say this prophecy was fulfilled by Jesus. And what other prophecies will be fulfilled by Jesus as we work through our Advent calendar? It's number chapter 19 today. Let us open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Numbers, chapter 19. You always spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, This is the absolute law, which you always commanded. Tell the children of Israel to bring you a red heifer, without spot, in which is no defect, and which was never yoked. You shall give her to Eleazar the priest, and he shall bring her outside of the camp. And one shall kill her before his face. And his other priest shall take some of her blood with his finger and sprinkle her blood toward the front of the tent of meeting seven times. One shall burn the heifer in his sight. Her skin and her meat and the blood of all her dung shall he burn. The priest shall take cedar wood, hyssop and scarlet and cast it into the middle of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes and he shall bathe his flesh in water and afterward he shall come out into the camp. And the priest shall be unclean until the evening. He who burns her shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his flesh in water, and shall be unclean until the evening. A man who is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer, and lay them up outside of the camp in a clean place. And it shall be kept for the congregation of the children of Israel, for water for impurity. It is a sin offering. He who gathers the ashes of the heifer shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the evening. It shall be to the children of Israel, and to the stranger who lives as a foreigner among them, for a law forever. He who touches the dead body of any man shall be unclean seven days. He shall purify himself with water on the third day, and on the seventh day he shall be clean. But if he doesn't purify himself the third day, then the seventh day he shall not be clean. Whoever touches a dead person, the body of a man who has died, and doesn't purify himself, defiles Yahweh's tabernacle. And that soul shall be cut off from Israel, because the water for impurity was not sprinkled on him. He shall be unclean. His uncleanness is yet on him. This is the law. When a man dies in a tent, everyone who comes into the tent, and everyone who is in the tent, shall be unclean seven days. Every open vessel, which has no covering bound on it, is unclean. Whoever in the open field touches one who is slain with a sword, or a dead body, or a bone of a man, or a grave shall be unclean seven days. For the unclean, they shall take of the ashes of the burning of the sin offering, and running water shall be poured into a vessel. A clean person shall take a sip, dip it in the water, and sprinkle it on the tent, on all the vessels, and the persons who were there, and in him who touched the bone, or the slain, or the dead, or the grave. The clean person shall sprinkle on the unclean on the third day, and on the seventh day. On the seventh day he shall purify him, he shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water, and shall be clean at evening. But the man who shall be unclean, and shall not purify himself, that soul shall be cut off from the middle of the assembly, because he has defiled the sanctuary of Yahweh. The water for your impurity has not been sprinkled on him, he is unclean. It shall be a continual law to them. He who sprinkles the water for the impurity shall wash his clothes, and he who touches the water for impurity shall be unclean until the evening. Whatever the unclean person touches shall be unclean, and the soul that touches it shall be unclean until evening.